it's my privilege to be able to introduce the student speaker today, Johnny Lozetnik. And I hardly know where to begin in describing Johnny. Uh, I could start with sort of the external, the performance he's been in. No one will forget him as President Roosevelt and Annie this year. He stole the show. A uh, beautiful performance. He's, he's a presence on campus. He's involved in the leadership groups. He's been the leader of GSA for a number of years. Really made it uh, the group that it's become. And he's done so many wonderful things. I mean, who can forget his environmental rap performed on Earth Day? <laughs> the one that will let be indelible in my brain. Um, tremendous things he's done, yet there's something else about Johnny. It's the quality of the person that he is. He is one of the few students that's able to transcend all social boundaries. He seems to be friends with everybody. And it doesn't matter the grade. I think that the best way to get an insight into Johnny is as a peer leader. Because he's an amazing peer leader. Not only because of what he says, but who he is. Because he inspires courage, the courage he has. Because he has this ability to take on some of the most difficult and tricky issues that we face in the school. And he does it with a wit and a kind of quirky approach to it that disarms people. It makes it safe to talk about things that many people are unsafe talking about. Um, so I think the senior class did a great job in selecting Johnny. He's a person of great courage who inspires that courage in others. So let's welcome Johnny to the stage. today, but I'm really grateful for the chance. <laughs> the first thing I'd like to say is that this speech won't be about how I'm gay. I feel like every time there's an opportunity for a gay person to speak at an event, all they talk about is how homosexual they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that for a number of reasons. One, because I feel like there's more to me than that. Two, because I think my tendency to tap dance while walking says enough. <laughs> and three, because my life as a gay person is incredibly boring. <laughs> that is to say, I have a loving family, friends who accept me, and the sex life of a person with the black plague. <laughs> Homosexuality aside, <laughs> what can I say about the class of 2012? There are a lot of ways to describe our grade. Were we the grade to throw the best bathroom party Brentwood has ever seen? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Were we the grade who has not one, but two male models? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Were we the grade to have what might be the worst couple names of all time, including gems such as Schleibus and Clark? <laughs> Absolutely. These 13 years have been a roller coaster of memories. I think the primary benefit of being a lifer at Brentwood is that it gives you a lot of perspective. Here are some things that I remember looking back. I remember St. Patrick's Day in kindergarten when Miss Barry's feet magically turned green. And I remember Miss Lyons teaching us to dig 11 years later in BGC. I remember the day when Jacob Uchra's braces got caught in a basketball net. <laughs> and the day Carly Shagrin got a concussion on the soccer field. I remember making little plant sculptures dedicated to the memory of a dead caterpillar, caterpillar named Little Mushroom. And I remember a failed attempt to plant trees for a senior project. <laughs> I remember the day when we dissected a frozen chicken, frozen chicken breast from Trader Joe's in sixth grade science. And Miss Miller's plate full of bacon the day we dissected fetal pigs in 85. <laughs> I remember counting the days until the end of sixth grade. And I remember counting the number of times Start Curious, Stay Curious, Go Anywhere was referenced at this year's award ceremony. <laughs> I remember my first day of peer leadership as a freshman and my last day of peer leadership as a senior. I remember the day Rachel won her fourth grade fist fight with Kyle. <laughs> and the day when Kyle was named the best debater for his age group in California. I remember the day Jamie Chow brought me to put the Pythagorean theorem in my graduation speech. <laughs> Wednesday to be exact. <laughs> and the day that I will be receiving my one dollar payment. Today. <laughs> I remember when it snowed at Astro Town, and I remember cuddling on the beach after mystery night. I remember dancing to Monster Mash during Halloween, and dancing to Bulletproof at Retreat. I remember Amanda and Soraya singing For Good at our 6th grade promotion. 
and One Boy Singing Daughters by John Mayer at Campfire. I could go on forever in the past, but the past is just that, the past. There were good times and there were bad times. The state isn't really about the past though, but about the future. I don't really know anything about the college experience not having been through it yet, so I won't talk about that. But there are some things I do know regarding the future. The first thing I'd like to say is that Brentwood School is not real life. Very few places are as loving, accepting, and frankly as gorgeous as Brentwood is. Yes, the campus is like an Italian country club. <laughs> but moreover, these girls sitting behind me are absolutely stunning, every single one of them. Men, you're going to get to college and cry. <laughs> The male population is beautiful as well, especially Mark. <laughs> but actually, the world isn't a place where your textbooks are delivered to your locker in a reusable bag before you even arrive at school. <laughs> it's big, and it's scary, and it won't care how much money you have or how many APs you took. Thankfully, Brentwood has prepared us well for the next few years, and we've learned a lot more than what's written in our notes. This brings me to my second point. We should all be so thankful for every moment we spent here. No matter what walk of life you've come from, or how hard it was to get up in the mornings, it is such a privilege and an honor to be able to say that we attended this school. I'd like, a, I'd like to take a second to thank the unbelievable faculty and staff who have done so much for us inside and outside of the class. department who has been teaching me to read and speaking so goodly. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we are a unit. I'd love to be able to say that we're all best friends and that school every day is just one huge cuddle puddle, but we all know that's not true for everyone and it's useless to lie. Regardless, the people sitting around you have all been through the same things. Many of you sat with me and played Legos outside of Ms. Burkhardt's class in kindergarten. More of you sat with me in the theater during a middle school assembly listened to Mr. Crocker bell, <laughs> Still more of you were at the ninth grade assembly when we found out that five of our classmates had been asked to leave the school. We've been through a lot together these past years, and whether you like everyone in our grade or not, the people sitting next to you understand you in a way the people in that audience don't. We are a strong, bonded flock of eagles. I might even venture to say that we are a cluster flock. <laughs> I guess at this point what you're all probably thinking is, does this speech have a moral or just thousands of terrible jokes? <laughs> I wish I could say one eloquent sentence now that just summed up life. Unfortunately, life isn't written by Hollywood writers and it's a lot more than just a box of chocolates. As Miss Bailey would say, there is turbulence sometimes. <laughs> there are days when it's sunny, there are days when it's rainy, and days when it does that weird LA thing of being like negative 20 degrees in the morning and then 100 in the afternoon. <laughs> um, there are also days when a weather metaphor just won't work. On that note, I'd like to provide one last memory. Before putting on shows in the lower school, Miss Nevin would collect us all in the boys' dressing room, and we would say something, together. Whether the weather be cold, or whether the weather be hot, we'll be together whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. I love you all. Thank you.